Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to go over throttling within the Django REST framework. So this will allow us to do to determine whether a request should be authorized, and it will restrict the number of requests or the rate of requests that a user can make uh, within a certain time period. We're going to go ahead and go over a couple different ways to do this. First, we'll talk about setting a global throttling policy. Then we'll go into how to apply them specifically to certain views. And then we'll go ahead and talk about scoped throttling as well. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So first we'll look here at the top of the documentation and we'll go over the throttling policy. So there's an example here of how to set the non-rate throttle and the user rate throttle. The anon rate throttle is for any unauthenticated user. So if you're not logged, you don't, you're not authenticated as a user, you'll fall back to this one right here. Um, if you are logged in as a user, or you have some key, some token or something to authenticate yourself, um, you'll go to this user rate throttle. And what this will do is it will generate a key based off the user ID to identify the user and throttle them based on whatever rate is defined. So in this example here, the anonymous and user are both set to only allow 100 per day and you'll see down here you can also use second minute hour or day as the period so it'd be 100 slash minute do 100 a minute 100 slash day do 100 a day 100 slash hour do 100 an hour or whatever else so you can set that all up here so let's go ahead and use this now instead of our project so i'm gonna go ahead and copy this and this documentation page will be in the description if you want to go there to copy this in as well uh, but we'll take that we'll go back to our uh, REST framework application here. We will go into our music API, find our settings page, and we will paste that um, somewhere up in here. I'll do above the install app. So right here, I'll paste that right in there. We'll save that. And now for a very basic setup for throttling, that's all we really need. And now we should be able to throttle the user uh, based on the rate set right down here. So let's go ahead and test that out. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to two a day uh, to show how the anonymous user works. Okay, now with my server running, I'll go to localhost 8000 slash albums and we'll hit send and the request goes to find. We do it again. It goes to find. We do it one more time and then we get an error 429. Uh, the request has been throttled and expected availability being in, in one day, about one day. So that's how we can limit it per day. And of course, we can change this to limit... Um, per minute if you wanted to so I could change this to per minute save that um, We'll come back into our Sign me a request here. We'll do send Send and send again and that fails and it's available in about 58 seconds because we now we throttled it to two per minute um, And so that's how we can throttle the user whether or not they are authenticated or not authenticated Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at how you can apply these to specific views and so I'll leave this in here for reference. And if we go into the views.py file and we can add a throttle class decorator onto a function view, and then we can go ahead and throttle things that way. So I can do one a day here, and this will throttle this view um, right here to be one a day. And for class-based views, we can do something similar. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add our user rate throttle to the slash artist class. Instead of using a decorator, though, like we did up here, Instead, what we can do, we can put throttle classes, and that would equal, and then we can go ahead and look in the documentation here, and we can add a list of our throttle classes. So what we'll do is we'll grab our user rate throttle from this line right here. So I'll go ahead and copy this import statement to get our user rate throttle. I'll come back to our code here, paste that in here, save that. We can come down here and we can add it to our uh, a slash artist view right here. So we'll do user rate throttle and that will set our user rate throttle onto our slash artist view. And this all works fine, but if you want some more specific uh, functionality when it comes to setting throttles, this may not work that well. So what we could do instead, if you look in the documentation, um, down here they have a uh, right here, a scoped rate throttle class. And this will work a little differently. So what we can do is we can go back into our application. We can go find our albums class. So right now, this uh, album view set here is what we went to in here. We went to slash albums. 
Um, it's currently being throttled by this two per minute uh, setting, which is what we set in our settings. But we can go ahead and set specific throttle settings for just this view by using a scoped throttle. And so we can do that by setting another variable here, another field on our class, throttle scope. We can set this equal to something, and this can be any name we want. I'll go ahead and call our, this one albums. And then back in our settings, what we can do is we can add one more class. So if we went into our settings and find our throttle classes, um, we can go ahead. I'm actually going to go and just comment these out for now. Um, and we can add a new new uh, throttle class. I'm going to go ahead and copy this in from the documentation just to save some time here. Um, but it's it's the same sort of thing. So now we use our scoped rate throttle. So it's just uh, rest framework throttling scoped rate throttle. And now we can set any scope inside of our def default throttle classes. So we called ours albums. So we'll add one called albums. And we can set this to whatever we want. I'll do um, three a minute. And now our album should be throttled to only three a minute. We come back into Insomnia. We send the request, send it again and again. And then one more time. It now is throttled saying it's available in 57 seconds. So we're able to put specific throttle classes uh, on specific views using this scoped rate throttle. Uh, and that covers most of what you'll need to get this set up. There's much more you could do if you wanted to get into more custom stuff. They have a section on here on custom throttles and how that can work. In this video, I'm not going to get into that as these will probably cover most of what you need. But there's an example down here if you want to go ahead and try that out as well. Um, but that's about it. Uh, if you can use the different uh, non-user and scope rate throttle classes, uh, you'll probably be able to handle most of what you need for your API. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful. All the code will be in the description below as well as links to the documentation. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.